Welcome, guys, to the Be Driven series. I'm Adrian Davis with Crown Davis Membership, your coach, your personal coach, and your business coach. Uh, this is the Veteran Day uh, edition of this. And so uh, today I'm being a little bit more relaxed. I'm not wearing my, my suit and tie. I actually want to give credit and uh, praise to all of our veterans on today. So happy Veterans Day to any of you that are looking. Uh, if you know of someone who is a veteran and you're looking, go on, make sure you share that love with them. Uh, I want to also give a special thanks to my uncle, uh, Uncle Melvin Foster, who uh, has over the years shown himself to be a great person, a great uncle for me and my other siblings, and so I would like to say thank you for that. He does have a purple heart. He uh, served in uh, active duty for many years. He's come back, and uh, he's been an operative uh, citizen in his community um, where he is. Um, you guys know how I do it so with the Be Driven series. I take a lot of information and try to squeeze it down. I'm not going to have a very long session today simply because uh, I want to make sure that everyone uh, soaks in the idea of Veteran Day and also be able to give thanks to them. But I also want to show you how driven a lot of these individuals are for them to be uh, a veteran and often for them to either lose their lives or make it back. You still have to have a mind. Uh, someone wrote this, and I got this off of the uh, internet the other day. It says, above all else, soldiers want to come home. Yes, they fight for their country and die for their friends. They live to come home. Most are afraid that they will lose their girlfriends or wives, that everything will change by the time it makes it back. That is what a soldier you know, when you think about this, that it's amazing because the mental capacity of an individual to go off and go fight, oftentimes not knowing all of what the overhead uh, communication is between countries, but know that I'm doing this for a country so that my family back at home or my girlfriend back at home or the ladies, my, my uh, boyfriend or my husband back at home, you know, can actually uh, be safe for my children. That's a huge thing because what that means is you put things in perspective. It talks about going through a storm of sorts. You know, sometimes they don't know everything about what's going to come up, what's going to jump out on the left and the right. But they're so focused on their goals. They're so focused on um, being the best that they can be and the protective measure they push right through. I learned something very interesting. I was at a conference uh earlier this week, and um, I found out something. Colorado is one of the few states in the United States, uh, if, the, if not the only uh, state in the United States, that is split right down the middle where it has both buffalo and cow, which is amazing to me because, um, you know, you got the mountains for the Rockies, and then you got actually a lot of the, the rest of the, 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 the state is plain. So you got these... Uh, two type of uh, livestock that are out there. And the way that they deal with storms are two different ways. The first way that I want to talk about is the way cows deal with the storm. When they see a storm coming up on the horizon, what they start doing is getting together and saying, you know what, I believe that we can outrun this storm. The issue is that if you know anything about cows, cows are not known for their speed and run. So what happens is the storm starts to come, and it starts to overtake them, and they're running away from the storm. So what happens is the storm stays with them until it overtakes them and it exceeds. So what it does is it allows them to be in the storm a long time because they can't really outrun it. So they use most of that time trying to get out of it. And they're not. Buffalo, on the other hand, see the storm coming up on the horizon, and they get together and they say, you know what? Let's run directly towards it. Now, why is that a difference? Well, if the storm is coming toward you, and you're going towards the storm, you have an impact for a smaller amount of time. They don't want to deal with the pain as much um, as long 
is they, they want to get there and take care of it and get it out of the way. And I thought that was a very, very smart and very amazing uh, piece of information that I learned because what it does is some of us try so much to run away from our storm that we end up staying in the turmoil longer than we would if we just faced it head on and go directly into that. We take the blunt of the pain, we take the blunt of the arguments, we take the blunt of having to deal with whatever the situation is on work or starting a new business or whatever it is financially, we take it head on and it's done, and it's out of the way. But if we run away from it, it stays with us and it starts to wear us down because we're trying to run away from it and all that it's doing is it's taking its path. I can't take credit for this. Like I said, I heard it from uh, at a conference. The uh, gentleman that was speaking about it uh, actually wrote a book called Take the Stairs. I uh, would ask you guys look it up. Take the Stairs. It's out. The book is out. Um, it seems to be a great book. I haven't got all the way through it yet. It's called Take the Stairs. And um, the author's name is Roy Bladen. All right? So, until next time, I want to make sure that you guys look at my information. It should be on the bottom right there, and it should tell you how to get a hold of me on the phone, the email, Twitter, uh, Facebook. Uh, more than that, you can always just look me up. I know there's a way we in this technological age. You can look me up. Adrian Davis with Crown Davis Ministry. I want you to stay driven. And tell somebody else that you know that may have served um, in the armed forces. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you, love you, and I'll see you.